Okay, so now let's look at another problem. Here I have A, right? And then here on this AND gate, I have B. And also coming in, I have C. So going out, I have B, C. So this first line would be A or B and C. All right, let's see what we have down here on this one. Uh, don't worry about the indicators. There's um, some other stuff going on past there we won't worry about. Um, it looks like coming in we have A and B here. So this one would just be A and B would be the final output. And here we have an OR gate with an A. We have C here. We have not C here. This one would be A or not C. So let's go to another example, all right? So I hope you can see this picture. Um, it's labeled at the top, uh, up there, the lines are A, oops, A, B, and C, all right? So this one would be not A, this would be not B, and this would be not C. Alright, so here, let's see, I have not A, and coming in here I have B there, and that line I have not C, so this one becomes B and not C, so this term becomes not A and B and not C. Let's see, so here again I have not A, and this term is... B and C, so this one becomes not A and B and C, and then over here I have A, and I have not B, and I have C, so this is A and not B and C, and then down here I have an A, I have a B, and I have a C, so this becomes A, B, C. All right, so if I follow this out, here I have an OR gate, not A, B, not C, or not A, B, C. Okay, and now as we come through this OR gate, we're going to take this term and combine it with that term. And then when we come through this OR gate here, then I'm going to add those to this, right? That's going to give me a final term of this. Not A, B, not C, or A, not A, B, and C, or A, not B, C, or A, B, C, right? So I hope that helps you.